Unidentified malicious vector. Emergency lockdown. Countermeasures. General systems failure. Core systems compromised. Shutdown in progress. Systems! Get me that fucking override! <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Patel. Are you ready to start? Top of the morning, systems. Let's begin. Can't wait to see what this newfangled interface can do. Arriving at Dagelash Crater. Forests on the moon. Rain, snow. I'll never get used to this. What a time to be alive. Dagelash Crater. Biome, deciduous forest. Air temperature, 295 Kelvin. Air humidity, 61%. Terraforming status, 100%. Let's do this. Degelash Crater, Experiment Track A. Dr. Patel testing gravitonic wearable interface. Okay, we'll start with some easy tests. Let's see if I can mess with the laws of physics and move some of those test boxes. That was pretty harmless. Moving on to the next one. Compiling results. Carry on, Dr. <laughs> Patel. <laughs> ah, the teleport devices. Instant matter transfer. Incredible. And to think, IGEA Labs was sitting on this tech decades ago. <laughs> Incoming com from Dr. Leia Alami, Xeno Archaeology Lead. Hi, Angelica. Having a nice time just throwing my historical sight? Relax, Leia. It's just a batch of experiments. I'm not destroying anything. Hmm. So you say. But those gloves you are wearing, this whole facility, in fact, the very air you are breathing, all that is historical evidence. And all of it was built precisely to test these beauties. Fine gravito-electromagnetic manipulation literally at one's fingertips. Idea Labs was a very shady op, but their tech was a century ahead of us. These things you are tinkering with, they are crucial to our understanding of the early Lunarian era. My team is here to study what happened, Angie. And mine to research physics, Leia. Patel out. Systems, let's carry on. Still a couple more tricks. Huh. <laughs> 